in the last 100 years in Central Asia. It's been a very dramatic century. I think what's most exciting now is to see the current state of the republics and especially the young people and the kinds of contributions they're now making to the future growth of their countries. So it's been exciting to be here teaching many of the young people from this area and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. The first way to motivate people is just for them to sort of see how it will be significant in their life. So rather than just sort of memorizing information about history, we try to focus on people grappling with primary sources from the past, being introduced to the kind of people and ideas and developments that happened in this area. Sometimes seeing that history, people in history are just like people today, it kind of can help you get a connection to your past.